Hello grade sixes. I hope you're all having a fantastic day so far. Hopefully it's warmer than it was yesterday. When I got up yesterday morning it said minus three feels like minus nine. And I saw some Canadian geese sitting on top of my trailer and they just seemed like they weren't sure should they fly north or should they fly south. And when they took off they flew east. So maybe they were hoping to find some warmer weather that way. Today, after you're done listening to um, the installment of BFG, I would like you to tell me your favorite part of the novel to this point. Tell me what um, event or what chapter was your favorite to this point. Alrighty, so I'm going to switch to the document camera and we'll get going on today's chapter. It's called Dream Catching. The big friendly giant put the suitcase on the ground. He bent down low so that his enormous face was close to Sophie's. From now on, we is keeping as still as winky little mices, he whispered. Sophie nodded. The misty vapor swirled around her. It made her cheeks damp and left dewdrops in her hair. The BFG opened the suitcase and took out several empty glass jars. He set them ready on the ground, with their screw tops removed. Then he stood up very straight. His head was now high up in the swirling mist, and it kept disappearing, then appearing again. He was holding the long net in his right hand. Sophie, staring upwards, saw through the mist that his colossal ears were beginning to swivel out from his head. They began waving gently to and fro. Suddenly the BFG pounced. He leaped high in the air and swung the net through the mist with a great swishing sweep of his arm. Got him, he cried. A jar, a jar, quick, quick, quick. Sophie picked up a jar and held it up to him. He grabbed hold of it. He lowered the net. Very carefully, he tipped something absolutely invisible from the net into the jar. He dropped the net and swiftly clapped one hand over the jar. The top, he whispered, oh, the top, he whispered. The jar top, quick. Sophie picked up the screw top and handed it to him. He screwed it on tight and the jar was closed. The BFG was very excited. He held the jar tensely. It's a wink squiffler, he whispered with a thrill voice. It's, 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 it's even better. It's a fizz wizard. It's a golden fizz wizard. Sophie stared at him. Oh my. Sorry about that. Oh my, oh my, he said holding the jar in front of him. This will be giving some little toddler a very happy night when I is blowing it in. Is it really a good one? Sophie asked. A good one, he cried. It's a golden fizz wizard. It is not often I is getting one of these. He handed the jar to Sophie and said, please be still as a starfish now. I is thinking there may be a whole swarm of fizz wizards up here today. And do kindly stop breathing. You is terribly noisy down there. I haven't moved a muscle, Sophie said. Then don't, the BFG answered sharply. Once again, he stood up tall in the mist, holding his net at the ready. Then came the long silence, the waiting, the listening, and at last... With a surprising suddenness came the leap and the swish of the net. Another jar, he cried. Quick, quick, quick. When the second dream was safely in the jar and the top was screwed down, the BFG held it to his ear. Oh, no, he cried. Oh, mince my maggots. Oh, swipe my swoggles. What's the matter, Sophie asked. It's a troggle, Humplor. Humper, he shouted. His voice was filled with fury and anguish. Oh, save our solos. 
Okay, so he probably would have yelled, it's a troggle humper, just so that we could establish that. Oh, save our souls. He cried, deliver us from weasels. The devil is dancing on my dibbler. What are you talking about, Sophie said. The BFG was getting more distressed every moment. Oh, bash my eye bones, he cried, waving the jar in the air. I come all this way to get lovely golden dreams, and what I is catching? What are you catching? Sophie asked. Sophie said, I is catching a frightsome troggle humper. He cried, this is a bad, bad dream. It is worse than a bad dream. It is a nightmare. Oh, dear, Sophie said. What will you do with that? I is never letting it go, the BFG cried. If I do, then some poor little toddler will be having the most curdled, bloodling time. This one is a real kicksy bog thumper. I is exploding it as soon as I get home. Nightmares are horrible, Sophie said. I had one once, and I woke up sweating all over. With, with this one, you would be waking up screaming all over, the BFG said. This one would make your teeth stand on end. If this one got into you, your blood would be freezing to icicles, and your skin would go creeping across the floor. Is it as bad as that? It's worse, cried the BFG. This is a real whoop, whoopsie grub switcher. You said it was a troggle humper, Sophie told him. It is a troggle humper, cried the exasperated BFG. But it is also a bog thumper and a grub switcher. It is all three riddled into one. Oh, I is so glad I is clutching it tight. Ah... You wicked beastie, you, he cried, holding up the jar and staring into it. Never more is you going to be bunk, bunk doodling the poor little human beanie toddlers. Sophie, who was also staring into the glass jar, cried out, I can see it. There's something in there. Of course there is something in there, the BFG said. You is looking at a frightsome troggle humper. But you told me dreams were invisible. They is always invisible until they is captured, the BFG told her. After that, they is losing a little of their invisibility. We is seeing this one very clearly. Inside the jar, Sophie could see the faint scarlet outline of something that looked like a mixture between a blob of gas and a bubble of jelly. It was moving violently, thrashing against the sides of the jar and forever changing shape. It's wiggling all over the place, Sophie cried. It's fighting to get out. It'll bash itself to bits. And guys and ladies, that is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this installment. Here's a good illustration of Sophie and the BFG's dreams that he caught? Let me know your favorite part because that is your assignment for BFG today. Thanks all. Bye-bye.